you know, uh, I was thinking more about it. I love this example, mostly because I really like the idea of people being quadriplegic, sucked into them. I hope that they never find a cure from stem cells so they can ever walk again. There, I said it. Oh, no, it's going to be clipped and put on TikTok now, isn't it? Yeah, it probably will be, especially after the TikTok video. I was just paying the shit out of it. But, you know, like, okay, obviously I'm uh, doing something that comedians never do, which is joke, but uh, I can't believe that you even have to fucking... You, you can't say anything they do. You can't pay out people that have had extreme misfortune. What the fuck? Uh, but, uh, yes, look. If you far, go back from that, people that are kind of in that position where they have broken their spine, but it's able to heal. They always come out of it with better posture. Why is that? Because while they're in the cast doing this, it's realigning their spine to a better place. And obviously there's like the way that you can on correct in the other way. And then your spine just starts getting too straight. And then after a while, it kind of just sets into a board. And then I suppose it snaps if, some Chinese gymnast ever needs to land on your shoulders for inexplicable reasons while you're walking down the street. But, well, it could happen, especially if you are a Chinese gymnast, which I assume would have to be at least 40% of this audience shortly. But, (laughs) it'd be fucking amazing if it was. Why is this so appealing to them? We just really like the concept of self-help. And we like that you shit on TikTok, like our government. But, that happens they get the straighter posture what is that saying that's a great metaphor for life it is that when you hit adversity in life doesn't kill you makes you better for it and that's the most basic self-help you will ever hear on a channel that is based off of spurting basic self-help and then getting you to sign up to jordan shanks which i highly recommend that you should because those basic points are actually really really important Okay? Let's not fuck around here for a second. It's the same thing as like going to karate every day and just being like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I got a black belt now. You just have to do it. It is part of daily life. If you are not remembering these things, you will fail. You will fail because life is just about repeating very monotonous tasks and getting psyched about it so that you actually do do it every day of the week. Yay! So, when we're talking about this, Yeah? We go beyond the point of, yes, okay, it's obviously made them stronger. Okay? I want you to think about that for the rest of your life, that you can be using bad situations to correct yourself in the time. So, let's use, this is very out of character, a basic example. Let's use you talking about how bad of a day that you've had. In fact, let's just assume that you've had a bad day. You're not even talking about it. You're not even whining. You actually have had a bad day. Somebody slags you off in a particularly, you know, damning way. Uh, You got fired. Anything like that. You know what? It's helped me out of that. And I think that it has made my life generally happier in a lot of ways. Is every This is for the day of your life that you are dreading. Yeah? Parent dying. Dog dying. Any of this stuff. You know what you do in that time? You see it as a challenge to have a good day regardless. Otherwise, as the old Buddhist saying says, we cut ourselves once and then we cut ourselves in our minds a million times over. That's suffering right there. The the event has happened and then it happens over in the mind endlessly. And then it goes into a negative loop. And before you know it, you've wasted an entire day of your life, an entire week of life, an entire year of your life, an entire 10 years of your life, reliving the same event over and over again. Like you're like that civil war guy in that movie Eternal, which I'm sure none of you have seen, except for a few smug guys that are just gonna, they're gonna have to write it in the comments. So you just can't help yourself, can you? You should be ashamed of yourself, but you're not. You're still smiling. It just some people uh, but yeah look good on you it was a sick movie highly recommend it the eternal check it out but it's the lovecraft and horror it's pretty much the only thing that i know that's like film wanky that word uh but yes so when that is happening those bad days that are happening 
the way that you should think about it is the bad event has happened. Now it's up to you to autocorrect that situation. The way that you autocorrect it, I think, honestly, is I am going to make this a challenge to have a good productive day regardless. And you know what else happens as well? When you're going through your life and you're doing that, I think that what happens when you're internally suffering a lot is because you're internally suffering all the time, you're trying to figure it out in your head a lot. Uh, When people walk up to you and they say, hey, how you been? And you go, yep, yep, that's great. It's just been all well and good. Everything's fine. Because you're still trying to figure it out in your head. If you are going down the path of, I'm going to try and have a good day, what do you do? You blurt out that you've had a bad day. Why? Because... Instead of, it's the same thing, I suppose. There's so many examples on this channel of vomiting. It's just so wise. Don't you feel like, you know, when you're really hammered, there's that point where you're in the car and you think, I should just hold this in. And then at some point you think, nah, okay, you're going to have to pull over. And then you vomit and then you feel great. And then you get back in the car and then you feel awful the next day, but whatever. In that moment, that is sweet, sweet relief. That's what's happening to you. Hmm? You are going to verbally vomit if you try and have a good day, because that's gonna be part of the process of having a good day. Everything starts getting geared towards it. The basics of this channel, yet again, three for three, trifecta. Can we go for a hat trick plus a little somersault at the end? I'm guessing so, and I'm sure that the 40% of Chinese gymnasts that are female will appreciate that. But you're going to do that, and then you are going to be trying to autocorrect the rest of your day, much like the spine, much like the spine, sort of being realigned because it's been given that brace. You have given yourself the brace as opposed to just sitting there with a broken spine. You're like, "Uh, no, everything's good. I'm not even going down the old path of like, are you okay, right? God, that's lame. I'm sure that it actually statistically helps, but just the capital R. Uh, Capital R for, no, I'm not going to say the word. Uh, I mean, like, it just think it's a mean word. But yes, uh, yes. Uh, so what happens in those times is that if you are able to correct yourself there, that is better posture for the rest of your life. If you are in those moments while you're being challenged, that you're having a bad day, that you're able to correct that in that moment, what does that say for the rest of your life? I'll tell you what it says. It says that you are better prepared for the basics. When your day-to-day life goes on, you are going to be better for it because when it really counted, you were aiming on trying to have a good day regardless of it. It doesn't mean that you have to stop thinking about it. It just means that, or that you will stop thinking about it rather. It just means that you will have that thought in the back of your mind all the time, throughout the day, while that's happening, just like, all right, all right, it's time for me to focus on things that I like. It's time for me to change my physiology. It's time for me to just bitch to this about somebody. I just need to do something so that I can just get back on track. Because that is the unnecessary thing about life. Well, it is just, I suppose, you know, so getting philosophical, maybe it is necessary in the end, but a lot of your life, you're always trying to stop someone. You know, if you're trying to stop yourself from getting off track. One of those bad days is a day that you get off track and that is fine. That happens to everybody. Sometimes people need to just take weeks where they've just mentally zoned out. They're not on vacation, but they are mentally. They've gone. But obviously, he who is most productive succeeds. So what we're trying to do on this channel is endlessly always remind you, give you tips, suggestions, so that when those days happen, this is how you get productive again. We want you to stay productive because productivity equals success. You like that? You wanna know how to be more productive? You need to sign up to Jordan Shanks. You need to do yourself that favor. It is a favor to you. Costs next to fuck all. Life-changing advice every week, fresh, hot, out the oven. I'm just going through all of my books that I've written over the years. I've written a bunch of better life journals and I'm just reading the best of all the self-help books that I've done. And I think, yep, that's a piece of advice that I can give you today. Or if I've utilized one of those self-help pieces, I can give you the real life example because this is how the brain works. It likes a little story, doesn't it? It doesn't matter how lame the story is. This is the other thing that's really incredible about stories. This is just a little tidbit. In fact, I'm going to do one on Jordan Chanks. And if you want to see the full unadulterated version of it, you're going to have to sign up, won't you? But... The only thing that stops human beings from 
dragging their attention to something else. This is why people are still able to sit through a movie for two hours, the average person, not your little 15-year-old girls, but most human beings can sit through a two-hour movie if the movie has a followable story. It doesn't have to be genius, just needs to be followable. That's when you pay attention. That's when you lose yourself in it. Anyway, sorry, nothing to do with that. What I'm talking about now is make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shakes. You have to sign up to Jordan Shakes. It benefits you more than it benefits me. I truly believe that. Yeah, obviously I'm getting something out of it, but I'm getting fuck all in comparison to what you're getting. You are the true benefactor of this. You yourself. All right, see you next time.